Now come to our workshop on uh, Masma. Our workshop uh, provide you with uh, hands-on training on uh, applying Masma for urban drainage design. During our workshop, we uh, cover different topics in Masma. For example, we do the uh, intensity frequency duration curve computation, rational method, uh, time area method, reservoir routing, intention pond design, sediment basin design, uh, also hydrologic modeling using the HMS software and also hydraulic modeling using HEC REST software. So these are the topic that is covered inside our workshop. During the workshop, we provide you with the hands-on training on uh, using uh, spreadsheet to solve the problem in MASMA. I will show you some uh, yeah. Example in the uh, that you can download spreadsheet from the website. You can log into our members only area and download the uh, spreadsheet. So this is the uh, website masma.com. If you go to this website, you can download the uh, spreadsheet that's used in our workshop. Now this morning I'm going to talk about hydraulic modeling. Hydraulic modeling, uh, most of the time, we are concerned with uh, computing the discharge and also the uh, water level in the channel, in the cover. Now the traditional approach uh, used by the engineers uh, when dealing with the uh, uniform open channel flow is to use the Manning equation. That is the, uh, the common approach to compute the water level using the Manning equation. Now the Manning equation or the Manning formula assume uniform open channel flow. So let me ask you, what is the limitation of the Manning uh, equation? The limitation of the Manning equation is that it does not as consider the backwater effect. We assume uniform normal depth flow. If you have a constriction or you have an obstruction downstream, the water su surface will back up. So, if you use the many equation, it cannot consider that. It cannot consider the effect of a constriction downstream causing backwater effect. A backwater effect means the water uh, the water surface will in, will raise up because of an obstruction downstream or a constriction downstream. You see, this is commonly observed. Uh, and it's the cause of most drainage flooding issue. Huh? If everything flows within the channel, based on open channel flow, then there won't be any flooding. Flooding occurs because there's bad water effect. Yeah? Okay, that brings us to the pack rest. Mm.
Fried rice is a tool for backwater curve computation. Huh? Head rest is a tool for backwater curve computation. The significance of it I already mentioned. Most system behave with the backwater effect. Seldom do we get uniform normal depth flow. Uniform normal depth flow is only used by engineer in their design. It seldom occur. Yeah. Uniform normal depth flow can be considered as a special case of this backwater effect. that we adopt uh, for river works uh, the left bank uh, is the is on your left hand side obviously uh, the convention that we adopt uh, for rivers is that when you say left bank uh, means uh, it's the bank on your left hand side as you travel downstream ah there's the convention okay uh, two questions uh, that's been asked. First question is the steady flow data. How come I have a pen different profile? You don't need pen. You can run it with one profile. A profile you can think it uh, in terms of a uh, Q for a given ARI, that's one profile. Say profile one, maybe is is the discharge for a ARI of 100 years. If you discharge into the sea, you can use the sea level, whether it's the spring tide whatever level and put it as a known water water level. Yes. It's just it's use the water level. Or you can also use the rating curve. You can use the rating curve to define all this. What is the spring type? They got many types. Whether you want to use the highest astronomical type, you know? You use the tight level there, put as a downstream condition, 